Hello, Swoop Rider lovers! Welcome back to another annual Swoop Rising Championship! We are currently located on the lush and green world of Kashyyyk. We even have a Wookiee here in the studio. Well said, my friend. About to hit the suspended track right now is our reigning champion and rider of the infamous Kakaran Daggerstar. Here we go! It looks like some minor modifications have been made this year, but that won't stop them. Did you know that this swoop has been to more places than even me? Narshada, Manan, Tatooine, you name it. This swoop has raced all over the galaxy, and still nothing has come close to rivaling its speed. Our champion comes through once again with the fans cheering on. A stunning time and a new record for Kashyyyk. Did we really expect anything less from our beloved champion? Well, here it is. Our first ever animated short. I'm really hoping you all enjoyed this, and I'm really looking forward to hearing your feedback. Before we get into the VFX breakdown, I want to talk about why I made this short. About two weeks ago, I made a poll asking the community what type of short they would like to see us make so that we can show proof of concept for what is coming to the channel this year, which will hopefully be a lot more of these animated shorts. For this poll, I asked if you wanted pod racing or swoop racing. You voted swoop, and now here we are. This short was made so I could basically show you what is possible. However, I realised just a swoop racing short isn't going to be enough. I have much more planned, some of which I'll share with you after the VFX breakdown, which we'll get into now. When I first started the project about two weeks ago, I wanted the landscape to be Narshada. I modelled a cool looking track, some buildings and lots of lights. Lots and lots of lights. I even added some floaty twiller collar thingies. However, in the end, the scene became too intensive and the render times went through the roof. I knew this was due to a poorly organised workflow, so I stopped, took a day or two to rethink my strategy. And in that time, I watched the latest episode of The Bad Batch, and which at the time was episode 6 of season 2. After watching that episode, I was like, we should do the track on Kashyyyk. I really liked the look of the huge trees and fog to cover it all up. It also made for an easier workflow, so I got to it, and this was the result. We had some large tree trunks, a rope suspended track hovering above the depths of Kashyyyk. We even had a hollow sign that read swoop racing, and of course lots and lots of fog. However, with any project, you usually have one particular asset that you highlight the most, whether that's the main character of a story, or in this case, a vehicle. The swoop bike was originally going to be an exact replica of the Kakaran Daggerstar from Kurtor. However, my first attempt at creating the bike really didn't look too pretty, and once again, I was forced to rethink my design and workflow, but this time just for the bike. I made an entirely new scene, even added a cloth that would reveal the bike. When modelling the swoop this time around, I used much more care in respecting the shapes and made things easier on myself with better geometry. In the end, I ended up with a pretty nice looking swoop bike. All I had to do was texture it, using only Blender's shading nodes. All the textures were made from scratch, and none of them are made using a free asset. Barring one scene, but I'll talk about that in a moment. Although I had that option, this project was about showing off what I could do, and not what I could copy. After finishing the bike model, I went on to creating some engine looking auras to represent speed because swoops go very, very fast. The one in our shot is actually traveling at 640 miles per hour at top speed. So the scene with the planet of Kashyyyk is actually an image of Korriban. And that was taken from this website here. However, I readjusted the asset to represent Kashyyyk rather than Korriban. The sound effects, of course, were taken from the OG Kurtor 2. The first music track I used was also from Kurtor, and it's the Kashyyyk music. The second music track was taken from Epidemic Sound, which I earned licensing for, thanks to my YouTube partner, Frederator. Once I had all my assets ready, I put everything together and made the animated short you saw earlier. Some scenes were rendered in 1080p to save time, but all the shorter scenes were rendered in 1440p for a little bit extra prettiness. The sample count for the scenes was about 86, and I used a glare and denoise node in compositing. The final scenes were thrown into Vegas, so audio, narration, and everything else could be mixed. I also added a final colour highlighter to make some scenes look more green or blue. That was it. So what's next? Some of you may know that I've got a top secret project in the works, and again, this is using Blender. However, it's going to take much longer to create, and it's much more ambitious. 
It involves actual character models and creating them, and much larger scenes such as the Corriban landscape and inside the temple and on the rooftop of the temple. I don't want to spoil what the story is going to be about just yet, but as soon as I'm ready to tell you what the story is about, I will reveal that to you. But for now, I'm going to give you this little snippet here. What you're about to see is a concept of what I want to create. There isn't going to be any context for you, so you're not really going to understand what's happening. But that's kind of intentional here, because again, I don't want to spoil the story. That being said, there is some narration in this little concept for you, and that might spoil the story for some of you. So, if that happens, behave yourself in the comment section. I will be watching. This planet is a place of great power. The dark side lives and breathes in the very core of this world. Great things are expected of the apprentices here on Koriban. The training is difficult, but the rewards are great for those who succeed. But even those with potential can fail. I trust you will not disappoint us. Alright guys, that was it. If you enjoyed this type of video and you want to see more, then please let me know in the comments. Like the video and subscribe, all that usual stuff. If you want to go that step further and help support the channel, then we do have a Patreon available where I've been posting some exclusive stuff. Patreon helps us stay in business and we will forever appreciate our loyal supporters. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you all in the next one. May the force be with you.